What is up guys here from the Zan Madden YouTube channel today's video we're going to break down two routes that one step ahead simply put will never light up against but before we get into the video please do me a favor hit that subscribe button also make sure you guys take the time to hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of the uploads coming your way here on the Zan Madden YouTube channel if you guys want to take your game to the next level Madden 21 check out my strategy site gridirongameplans.gg gridiron gameplans is your one-stop source for all things competitive Madden Every week in our Vault update, we take a look at the meta for the most effective tactics available being used by pro players on the MCS circuit, breaking down not only how and why the pros do what they do, but most importantly, how you can counter those metas when you face them in online head-to-head -head gameplay. On top of that, your subscription also includes any and every offensive and defensive game plan released on the website while your subscription is active. We'll be releasing our newest defensive game plan coming up this week. So head over to gridirongameplans.gg, $9.95 per month unlocks the entire website. Okay, guys, let's go ahead and get into today's video. We're going to be talking about two routes in particular that are really solid against the one step ahead with purple zone meta. You're going to choose one of the routes based off of where they are dropping their purple zones on the field. Those two routes that we're going to be talking about today are the stock curl or the hot routed curl, which is an 11 yard route, and also the fade stop, which is smart routed, which goes what looks like 15 yards, but it's actually closer to 20, 21 yards. Now, if you want to make this tip the best it could possibly be, the stock curl is best with a mid out elite. The fade stop smart routed is best with a deep out elite. Now I know where some of you guys are going in my comments. I see them all the time. Zan only does content for players that play mutt. He doesn't do anything for us regs guys. So first off, I wanna apologize for you guys feeling that way. But the second thing I wanna say is that I'm not gonna apologize for teaching players the best abilities to use on certain routes to beat the most popular metas that you face. That's kind of the whole purpose of the YouTube channel. That's kind of the whole purpose of the website that I run. So I definitely see those comments out there. And I'm just gonna say that while it's your prerogative to play with the New York Jets, it's really not your right to complain about how I do, don't do content that makes the New York Jets better in, in mutt, or I'm sorry, in regs, or you know your favorite team that doesn't have XYZ ability. I get a lot of players that say, Zan doesn't do any content for CFM players. Well, I'm here to tell you that I play in a CFM and I run all the abilities that I talk about in my videos all the time. So, you know, I guess I'm just, you know, without trying to be too starky, become a better GM, make better trades, develop your players better if you wanna run some of the content. Um, now, I don't wanna get too ranty on that. Um, just wanted to say that you do not have to use the mid out elite and deep out elite on this video if you do not want to. It will work better if you do. So let's go ahead and talk about it. Start with the curl route. The curl route, it is an 11 yard break and I've got Keenan Allen here with the mid out elite. So what you're gonna notice is that you are going to be able to get better catch in traffic from 10 to 20 yards outside the numbers on this route. Now, nine out of 10 players that are gonna play the one step ahead meta are going to shade over the top, which means no press from cover one, even though they're in a press alignment. And the reason they do that is that enough players have learned through failure that fade routes in particular really smoke cover one press. They get really good positioning off the beat press animation. There's a lot of whiff animations altogether that make it an easy lob rack touchdown. Uh, and even some of the good release animations in terms of the DB being in a decent position can still give up lobs over the top. So that's why most players tend to shade over the top, which means a free release for our wide receiver. So with this 11 yard curl, in fact, if I smart route the curl, it actually becomes shorter. The 11 yard curl, you're gonna notice that Keenan Allen is going to light up on this, which allows us to then throw this route in aggressive catch it. You see right there that even the one step ahead doesn't light up on that, which allows us to make that catch. Now, here's the thing. Gilmore is actually the best case scenario of what you might see in Mutt. So if you could consistently beat Gilmore on this throw, let me go ahead and just throw an incomplete pass. I'm gonna run commit to get uh, Keenan Allen out of the zone here. But if you could beat Gilmore, who has the one step ahead and the acrobat for the diving animations, when one step ahead doesn't put him in the best spot possible, you're gonna be able to beat pretty much any one step ahead shaded over the top with this particular route. The only real limiting factor on this is whether or not they have a purple zone and what depth that purple zone is playing at. You see right there that even if Gilmore is like on it, he's really not gonna make that play because the mid out elite is going to take care of you on this throw. In fact, we've talked about curl routes with the mid in elite about two weeks ago here on the YouTube channel. 
but this route is a little bit better because you can scheme it up with another route that's very very similar so what you'll notice that some players are going to do is if they're facing you throwing these curls they're just going to put uh you know like a linebacker or somebody into a you know into a, a purple zone to try to take away that curl so now when we go to throw this you're going to see that there's going to be a guy sitting right underneath of it which obviously you can't really make this throw it's going to be intercepted in fact we got lucky right there the mid out elite bailed us which again kind of shows the testament that the mid out elite is a useful ability but in general you know if somebody wants to put a stock purple zone in that spot you're probably going to get intercepted that's just the way it goes so right there we actually played press but um again you kind of see i mean still even with the purple zone we're still making pretty solid plays here now here's the good news most players that play the one step ahead they aren't playing stock purple zones they're actually playing you know 25 yard purple zone so if i were to go ahead and play this here 25 yard purple and we called let's just call 335 wide here cover one robber you can still throw those curl routes i mean they're going to be giving those up really easy on these so go ahead and go back to wide trips here and just call whatever you want doesn't really matter we'll play press shade over the top and let's go ahead and put a purple zone for calhoun here and that's set to 25. so again shading over the top on this route we use a stock purple zone or i'm sorry a stock curl route you're gonna see here that he's basically gonna back off of that and you're gonna be able to light up all you have to do is just wait for that guy to back up off that route far enough that you can make that throw so it looks like it's really in traffic but it's really not um you know here's the safety in a in a 25 yard so you might see a defense that looks something like this where they're going to lurk the middle play the one step ahead shade over the top and have 25 yard purple zones on both sides this allows you pretty easily to play you know an 11 yard curl and just wait on that that zone to really get out of the way and then just throw this ball i mean you see here how he's going to catch the ball in traffic and the one step ahead doesn't light up and put gilmore right underneath the route so pretty good example right here how this stock curl route on the outside is really one of the best routes in the game for attacking the one step ahead meta and you see right here he just doesn't get that reaction back the other way the only thing we really have to worry about is the acrobat where they kind of leave their feet and get the diving catches that's why i think that you want to use the mid out is that you have the ability to you know box out better and attack the football better and get those catches in traffic whereas an acrobat against a nod mid out might be able to jar that ball loose or even worse dive over their shoulder and pick it off um so this is a really really safe throw against the shaded over the top purple zone meta now obviously if they're playing a lot of zone coverage and they're mabling to have a 25 yard zone and then maybe like a 10 yard zone on the outside that's where you're going to run into trouble and that's what's going to lead us into our next route that we're going to talk about which is the fade stop now for this particular route i would recommend the deep out elite and the deep out elite is going to give you better catch in traffic uh basically from 20 yards plus outside the numbers so let's go ahead and talk about that now for the purpose of this we're still going to stick with uh, a 25 yard purple because i want to show you that it's basically if you're patient the exact same concept uh, as the curl route just wait on it so kind of show you here you might see somebody play something that looks like you know this kind of just chill watch the running back uh, and then they're going to go lurk over on the, the the trip side if the running back doesn't run a route so you know you can block your running back we're going to use a fade stop and what we're going to do is smart route it now if i smart route the fade stop you notice that it looks like it goes to about 16 yards and turns around we're all spotted on the 50 right now it goes to the opposite 35 34 ish before it turns around it actually goes further than that so let's go ahead and take the purple zone off the play just real quick so i can show this to you and it's actually going to go about five yards further than that and this is going to allow you to get these deep out elite catches you see how mike evans lights up on a 20 yard fade stop which curls in the middle of the field so if we're playing that press shade over the top here you're going to be able to go say you want a, a smart route of fade stop and actually you might run a better space play than this um depending on the type of zone how far it's dropping the outside you know you might want a more narrow uh split end but in some situations you might want evans to be out even further uh isolated on the sideline away from zones to the inside but if you know that there's really no zone that's gonna hurt you too much you should be able to obviously throw this ball right here you see how he lights up and you're able to come back and again it doesn't really look like that fade stop uh is affected too much by the one step ahead let's go ahead and run commit and i'm going to click off of evans here so we can get him out of the zone i don't want him to uh give the wrong impression here with this video so 
Let's go ahead and do this again. Now we play cover one press. We're going to shade over the top. I'm going to put Evans on the fade stop and smart route it. And we're going to let him run the route. And you see that the one step ahead actually did light up right there. But because Evans is in such a great spot, he really can't get around. Uh, so right there, actually, the fade stop is lighting up on that. If I were to audible into like, let's go into a different formation where he kind of lines up a little bit further. Let's see if he actually lights up on this as well. So uh, go ahead and shade over the top. Smart route of fade stop. He's going to run the route. He is kind of lighting up. But again, you see Evans consistently is boxing him out and making that catch. And that's really what we're looking for. Now, let's go ahead and introduce the 25-yard purple back into the equation. So maybe we're, maybe we're, you know, running this defense still right here. We're pressing shading over the top. Much like the curl route, obviously I could just put Evans on a curl as well. Much like the curl route, this is a 20-yard route. So the 25 yard zone is going to drop back too far behind that, allowing you to come back and attack the ball. Now, the one thing that you might run into an issue with, and you really don't here, is that sometimes if you have to wait for that purple zone to drop back far enough, you might end up with the one step ahead re reacting. But you can kind of see right here that the purple zone and the one step ahead together kind of jumbles each other up and you see that in general this is just a route that a 25 yard zone doesn't have a chance of stopping so your opponent might have to set their their purples to 20 which in case if they set their purples to 20 now all of a sudden you're in a situation where tight end crossers are going to get open slot receiver crossers uh there's a lot of routes that some corner routes are going to be able to get open over the top of a 20 yard depth so this game is all about i don't know if you guys have noticed yet but this game is all about having routes that beat one step ahead everywhere plus 25 yard purples if you could beat them with those texas routes little you know little dots underneath or in this case a big dot underneath you're going to be able to get them to change how they play their defense they might mabel zone out they might uh you know lower the purple zone depth that they're using they're going to do lots of things that are going to compromise what they want to do from a base defense so you see right here that in general this fade stop is pretty solid again if you have that deep out of lead it just makes it even better but it's not a must let me go ahead and uh for instance move evans off the field here i'm gonna put keenan allen back out there and kind of show you now again without the catch elites you still might give up you still might give up a drop because they don't have that extra catch and traffic boost but like i said in that little message that you don't have to have it you you simply don't have to have it so you know if somebody's playing this defense here you want to go with the smart route of fade stop you can still throw this ball to keenan allen just understand that there is a chance that he might if you're not patient enough he might drop it but again right there it looked pretty close to what evans did just didn't light up to kind of let you know like oh hey you know he was going to catch this ball anyways so these are two routes right here that you should be looking at again if they're if they're running 25 yard purples on you curl routes and smart route of fade stops both of those routes will get you where you need to be obviously the curl route is not an option if they're mabling underneath but that 25 yard fade stop is really really good really really good again you can kind of see right here that you know right there that's the example of that acrobat kind of getting over um but in general that is the way that you're going to be able to attack on the outside and the beautiful thing about it kind of round this video out is that this is away from where the user is. No user wants to have to go out to the sideline. That's the whole point of dropping a 25 yard purple on the field as is. So the user is not gonna be out there outside the numbers. They wanna be lurking Texas routes and you know uh, pitches on the inside and, and running down the seam with routes. They don't wanna have to get all the way out here. I know this was uh, the only real drop that we showed in this entire video, but they don't wanna be out there. And you see that the 25 yard purple is just so far gone. It's just a one-on-one -on -one ball in which case you're going to be relying on your catch elites. So that is today's video, guys. If you guys enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, or complaints, be sure to drop those below as well. If you guys want a little bit more of an in-depth look at the game, go over to gridirongameplans.gg. $9.95 per month will unlock the entire website. I've got a brand new defensive game plan on the week this way. We're going to this on the way this week, and we're going to be talking about some new abilities that players aren't really using that I think you guys could transform your defense, whether you're a man coverage player 
or a zone coverage player. So hopefully I'll see you guys over there on the website. Otherwise, I'll see you guys here with our next video upload. Until then, this is Zan. Get the lab in. Good luck.